good morning children how are you all so this is the third chapter i am taking you so already we started what i explained you in this chapter about the skeletal system i explained you isn't it uh, what is a skeletal system which give shape and support to our body and which protects the delicate internal organs this is the function of the skeletal system isn't it and uh, your, uh, your body is flexible because of backbone it is made up of how many bones 33 small small bones that are, they are called vertebrae vertebrae because of this vertebrae only movement is there in your backbone you can twist your body you can bend your body you, isn't it you can do any type of work skull what about the skull all the fixed joints will be there there is no movement how many bones are there in the skull 22 bones are there which bone is movable only the lower jaw is movable this lower jaw is used for eating speaking purpose we use lower jaw only lower jaw is movable so we discussed and about the limbs also we discussed about the limbs so 33 vertebrae are present and uh, skull how many are there 22 bones are there in the skull isn't it and the ribs how many bones are there in the rib cage we are having 12 pairs of ribs are rib bones are there isn't it and now coming to limbs how many limbs are there two pairs of limbs are there four limbs four limb and hind limbs hind limb four limb and hind limb isn't it four limbs have two types of bones are there that is upper part of the arm is called humerus what do you call it humerus and the lower part of the bone arm you are seeing the two limb two bones you are seeing they are called radius and ulna radius ulna okay now in the same way hind limbs also we have longest bone strong bone which bears the weight of the body is called a femur what do you call it femur or it is called as a thigh bone strong bone longest bone which bears the weight of our body is called femur again two bones are there lower part below the knees we have two bones they are called tibia fibula tibia and fibula so these are the bones which you get in four limbs means hands arms hand limbs means legs okay hand limbs means legs so about this we have till this we studied now coming to joints what is jo what are joints where the two bones meet is called joint what you what is a joint where the two bones meet is called a joint you are seeing this is the elbow bone this is called elbow we are seeing the movement in our arm because of this just imagine if you don't have this elbow can you move your hand no that waist organ waist part waist arm we can't do any work we can't bath we cannot eat the food hand will be like this only if we don't have this bone hand will be like this only so we see now long bones are there these long bones have a soft fatty material what do you call it bone marrow where the blood cells are made where the blood cells are made isn't it now joint where two bones are made is called a joint so what happen just to imagine if you don't have joint no movement will be there in our body no movement suppose if this elbow is not there the neck joints are not there we, our head will be like this only without a neck bones like this only we can't move our head up or down sideways we can't, can't move our head understood if the if this elbow is not there joint is not there in the arm what happens hand will be straight knee joint
joint is not there what happens we cannot bend our hand, legs like this only to stand without bending so we see the different movements in our body some joints most partially some joint shows you complete movement rotation is complete and in some joints no movement at all fixed joints understood now we will here we will know the types of joints types of joints what are the types of joints there are here there are two types of joints there are two types of joints movable joints and immovable joints movable joints and immovable joints there are two types of joints movable joints and immovable joints first we will know about the movable joints first we will know about the movable joints there are four types of movable joints we are going to study here now first joint is movable joint movable joint means where you find the movement the joints where you find the movement is called movable joints where you do not find movement is called immovable joint the joints where you do not find the movement movement is not at all there is called immovable joint so now we are movable joints we are going to know about ball and socket joint ball and socket joint ball and socket joint see i'll show you with my hand only take this is a what you see yeah cut a ball cut a rubber ball this is a rubber ball cut it into half the shape will be like this you get this shape you get this shape see the hand see the hand now take a bulb take a bulb the round part of the bulb keep it in the this is called a, how it looks socket like a socket now keep the bulb in this you can rotate it completely you can rotate it completely completely it will rotate isn't it completely it rotates in all the direction you can rotate it easily you can rotate it easily so this is what you call it ball and socket joint where you find now, here see this you are seeing this shoulder here it is a socket in this socket only our arm how the arm portion will be looks like a like this it is bulb like structure one here you are seeing the bulb like structure which is fixes into the socket of the shoulder bone and it shows the movement in all the direction it shows the movement in all the direction you are see it shows movement in all the direction this is what you call it ball and socket joint where you find in your body ball and socket joint in the shoulder in the hip bone you find the ball and socket joint okay next to come with us our shoulder and hip regions have ball and socket joint next to come to pivot joint next to come to pivot joint what is a pivot joint see the joint that joins the skull this is what you call it skull this is called skull to the backbone skull to the backbone skull to the backbone is called a pivot joint this skull joins with the backbone first vertebrae of the backbone is called a pivot joint here this pivot joint is unable to move your head downward upward sideways 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 you are seeing and you are rotating is it it these are the movement you are it unable to bend your head and backward sideways this is what you call it what do you call it pivotal joint it is called a pivotal joint this joint is present in the neck region where you find in a neck region next coming to sliding joint in sliding joint 
the joints are slides on each other the joints are slides on each other you will find this sliding joint in the wrist part of our hand and in the ankle part and in the ankle part sliding joints are present you can move back, front and back front and back you can move even you can rotate like this so you find even in the ankle and wrist part of our hand isn't it that is what you call it sliding joint next coming to hinge joint Thank you. 